Okay, once, uh, once I've worked through a couple things with the kid's stance, now we're going to work uh, a little bit to the save technique. I start right off again by, by emphasizing the importance of the top hand, especially having soft top hands. Uh, a lot of kids will grab the stick with a, with a death grip right here, and uh, what happens with that, especially if his hands are in close to his body, is he's going to have tons and tons of rebounds. And of course, that's not what we want. So your hands have to be out away from your body, so you have a place to give to, and we want that top hand being very soft. Top hand is king. It goes straight lines everywhere, and the bottom hand's going to help them. And uh, I've learned through the years that some kids have different amounts of dominance. I actually have a goalie right now that has a dominant bottom hand, which is kind of strange, and he overuses it. And it'll happen on his shots to this side, and as the save goes, he'll actually push his stick and hand up here because his hand is so dominant. Uh, so he's got to always work on that to make sure that doesn't happen. Other goalies that have this hand extremely dominant and don't use this enough on that shot will bring both hands at the same time over here. And what that does is it makes the save slower. It makes the goalie slower. He's got to use this bottom hand together. Okay, let me see, show me working together. So that's it. So that's about what you want right there. Now, again, if the bottom hand is too far apart, the bottom hand is going to hinder the top hand. Uh, it, you know, he can reach farther with this, I guess. But especially on low shots, he's going to be moving that top hand in arcs because the bottom hand is so, is so far away. All right? So the hands have to be comfortable. They have to be relaxed. All right, as far as uh, the feet go on, on the actual saves, um, one of the biggest things we do with the feet is make sure that they're, they're following the hands. And I tell the goalies kind of the same things that I tell the face-off guys. Uh, the hands move first and the feet follow, but you have to follow with the feet. Uh, back when I first started uh, coaching goalies, everything was attacking the ball. So I want you to show them how to step forward hard to the ball. And, uh, you know, we stopped doing this probably about 10 years ago. But one more time. Uh, as shooters shoot faster and they get more accurate. Uh, we found that a lot of times we're coming forward, you're not getting to the corner pipes very much. So most, most of our feet movements now are lateral. They're sideways. Just show them a sideways step. Okay. And uh, you can see that I've, I've trained this goalie pretty good. Uh, you, you can see that his trail leg, if he steps off to the side this way, he brings his trail leg in right away. And some young goalies won't do that. They'll leave their trail leg behind. Go ahead and step and leave it. And that opens up the five hole, makes him off balance and everything else. Uh, so I want him to follow, especially on low shots. Why don't you keep facing the camera as you do it. Show him a low shot and stay down when you get down there. By bringing the trail leg up with him, what he's got when he's done is a, a leg stick leg wall. If he kept that leg out here open, he's got a big hole that's in between his wall that he's trying to make down low. Okay, show him the right way again. So when they're done, not only do I want them to start, go ahead and go on back, but I want them to stop. And a lot of kids, a lot of young kids uh, still struggle with this. Even some of my goalies at SU really have trouble with this. They do what I call a drift. Show them what a drift is. Go ahead, do it again. So they start, but they keep drifting. And what happens is that brings them right out of the cage. You know, they're trying to get somewhere real fast. This is a tough one. Uh, I really have to convince the goalie that this is a bad thing so that he doesn't want to do this anymore. Uh, if he drifts, go out and drift and stay. And he misreads it, especially a low shot. You can see how much cage is open here. So once they see that and they buy into this, then my job is to convince him to not only start his stepping, but also stop, go ahead, and then be, bring that trail leg in with them right there. And that's generally the technique we use on most of our, most of our footwork anyways.